Worldwide, 125 million families are involved in coffee. So this is a huge sector of the world. Well, I'm sitting here today with Leslie Chilcott, award-winning producer and now first-time feature-length documentary filmmaker of the very moving film, A Small Section of the World. Leslie, thank you so much for joining us at Arclight Hollywood. It's lovely to be here. It's no accident that we're sitting here uh, opposite the Arclight Barista. What was your um, initial vision for the film? Well, initially, I thought it was going to be a short film. And I thought I would just tell the story of the struggle that the women had and say, now look where they've come. And it was kind of going to be like, you know, go for it. But the more I learned about coffee, you know, I did a poll of all of my friends, you know, where, where's coffee, where's the bean come from? And nobody knew. And it indicated to me how separated we are from our food. You know, how many farmers went into one cup of coffee? How many hands touched my coffee? And, you know, I know we're separated from a lot of our products, but we eat all day long, and we right. drink all day long, and we've really got to realize where all this stuff is coming from. One of the biggest takeaways from the film is what is accomplishable when you set your mind to it, undoubtedly, with both budgets and all these destinations. There had to have been some, some hurdles that you, you face as a filmmaker. Some of the women told me things for the first time that they hadn't told other people. And the biggest challenge for me was making sure that I got their story exactly right. Recently, we went to Costa Rica and we showed the women of the film the documentary for the first time. There were a lot of tears, there was a lot of emotion. Even the men, like in the audience, were, were crying. So it was a really gratifying um, experience. How great is the song? It's beautiful. When I was in Costa Rica last year, um, I went out really early in the morning, at 5.30 in the morning with the pickers. And all the pickers have these plastic baskets wrapped around their waist. And they pick the cherries. And when they hit the basket, it started making this noise. Because it's like thunk, 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 thunk. And then I went to the coffee mill, and there was all this choo, 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 mm -hmm. choo, choo, choo. So I kind of started hearing this song in my head. And I said to our sound guy in Costa Rica, I said, do you know a local percussionist? And he said, well, there's this guy, Tapato, Carlos Tapato Vargas. And graciously, he wrote the song. And then Alanis came along and wrote these beautiful lyrics. And they worked together very well in the studio. And in the bridge of the song, she talks about Asimovi as being a small section of the world. And I was struggling with, you know, do I call it the mill on the hill? Or like, you know, what right, do I right. call it? And I was like, that's perfect. You've won awards for producing big, big documentaries, like An Inconvenient Truth and Waiting for Superman. Now, you're directing. Why? You know, I was perfectly happy producing for a long time, and luckily I had partners that, that welcomed cr creative input, but then something happened and I caught the bug. No matter what the role is, if you want to do video playback, be a director of photography, if the position is highly technical, artistic, whatever it is, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do that or that maybe you should concentrate on another position that's more traditionally female. Do you consider yourself an empowered woman? I absolutely do. And it's a great question because I think a lot of people in my generation grew up learning to say, oh, I'm not really a feminist. My mom's generation kind of took care of that. And I was like that for a while, and I, I think that was a mistake, because we've come a long way, but you look at the numbers of women in film, women CEOs, you know, just across about every spectrum that there is, and the numbers haven't advanced as much as, you know, I think we want them to, or at least I thought they were. So I absolutely consider myself a feminist, because all the rules are gone. That's right, you're a rule breaker, aren't you? Well, you know, you got to try. As, as documentary filmmakers are second-class citizens, so we have to be creative about all the rules. 